What's up you guys? Do you like the intro? I know I did. To get things started, I'm going to try out this new weekly update video about new information about the iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, maybe apps from the App Store, City Apps, and etc. I will most likely provide this weekly update video every Saturday to Sunday, but it will depend on how much free time I will have at the end of the day. So to get things started, we'll start with iPhone news. Now WWDC was finally announced this Wednesday and it will be on the week of June 7th. So you can expect the iPhone and uh, new OS 4.0 to be uh, talked about. The wallpaper suggests that the keynote is going to really be more in depth about the applications, possibly about the OS 4.0. But yeah, there's been a lot of rumors, but lately there's been one rumor about the iPhone getting uh, shipped the day of the WWDC, which is kind of unlikely, but it could make sense because of the leaked prototype that was shown just a few days ago or a few weeks. Also, just a ticket to get in is about $1,600. And of course, this is only for like developers, not for anybody that can just go around in the party. So. Also, talking about the prototype iPhone, it seems like the the police got involved and they pretty much broke into Jason Chen's home and pretty much took 2,000 electronic items such as laptops, cameras, hard drives, and etc. I don't know. You can expect that Steve Jobs wants payback. For now, you can look at pictures. Like There's like 63 or 65 pictures of a funny Steve Jobs payback. You can check it out. Also, the iCheck client has more proof that it's coming to the iPhone. Uh, in the OS 4.0 Beta 2, there's been codes that indicate that the video chat uh, has a new response. Codes were found saying video chat declined, video chat ended for a reason, and so on. But more codes lead on to think that the iChat will only be for Wi-Fi use instead of using the 3G network. Codes stated like, the video call could not connect because a remote Wi-Fi connection could not be established. So if this is true, this could be a big downer for people who are really looking into the iChat over a few places without Wi-Fi. Alright, so if you have an Android and you always want to have it on your iPhone, it could be possible. For right now, it only works for the iPhone and it's coming over to the iPhone 3rd generation. I mean, the uh, iPhone 3G. Uh, so basically, one of the problems is the buttons, because any Android phone will have like physical buttons, like the re green button, the red button, and so forth. But they managed to add a little menu at the bottom to give you that feature. It's still a lot, it's still buggy though. So, and you can do it. I'll post a link in the description, and it's pretty much a 70-step process. So if you have the time, or if you have like an extra iPhone that you have laying around and want to test this out for see how good it is then uh, try it but if you have like your only iPhone then don't do this it could really uh, I don't know mess up your iPhone hopefully in the future there will be like a jailbreak type program like black rain where you only have to uh, click one button just to jailbreak or in this case get into the Android OS so uh, another news wireless syncing you know you don't need to use your USB cord to uh, sync your iPhone into or iPod Touch into iTunes. Well, a new app called Wi-Fi Sync by Greg Hughes was submitted into the App Store and is yet to be approved. There's not much to be said about the app considering it does what it says it does, wireless sync, but this could come in handy if you're in a, if your cord happens to be broken and you don't want to pay that 20 bucks. But, you know, if it doesn't make to the app store, then it could make to the city store. So let's see what happens. Another news: uh, Google makes a turn-by-turn -turn navigation for the Android. Now it was rumored that it might come into the iPhone someday, but Google, at the last minute, uh, pretty much declined that there was not gonna be a iPhone turn-by-turn -turn navigation app coming soon to the app store. So that pretty much sucks. Moving on to iPod Touch news: uh, If you remember last year, I had a video about the. Uh, uh, like a camera on an upcoming third generation well pretty much it's getting leaked again um, for this fourth generation iPod touch 
Now they said that last year they pretty much took out the camera at the last minute and uh, pretty much left it like that. So right now they're, well a few weeks ago they found like eBay auctions about two unfinished iPod touches with a camera on the back in the same place. But for now we don't know if it's real or fake but we have to wait until September. In iPad news, the iPad has finally been released and it didn't take long for it to get jailbroken by uh, the dev team. Right now, the iPad Wi-Fi Plus 3G has already, already been jailbreaking and as you can see in the video, you can actually text message with your iPad 3G. The only downside is that you have to use a T-Mobile SIM card and that pretty much has to be uh, handmade, well not handmade, hand trimmed because there's no mini uh, SIM card for the T-Mobile so you pretty much have to use your scissors cut out the little parts and make sure it fits in the tray also the jailbreak is now available I'll post the link in the description it's called Spirit it's just like black rain just click a button and it should work I think it works for the iPhone I'm not sure I've, I have not checked into the details yet but yeah alright moving on to City of News uh, a new and probably the best app of its kind lets you record your iPhone or iPod touch screen and maybe your iPad screen later in later times. Unlike screen recorder where it takes like p multiple pictures and say they like record your screen, display recorder which is the name of the app uses real video and like the video it can record even your games. Uh, just I'll post the annotation link on the my guy's channel who made the display recorder app it's like a capture card built into your iPhone so uh, the app is gonna cost uh, $4.99 and it's only say that it would work on the iPhone 3GS and iPod touch third generation now, so far there's no uh, details if it's gonna be on the iPad or older versions of the iPhone and the iPod touch and that's it guys that's pretty much my rundown of today's and little light weekly video update I'm gonna be doing this for like a few more weeks and see how it goes but for now I'm gonna stay my personal issues like what's gonna happen to my channel and all that stuff alright first things first I am selling my iPhone and I'm pretty much giving it to my friend tomorrow for 250 bucks yeah tomorrow and so that means I'm gonna use my uh, cheap go phone for like a month or two until the new iPhone comes out so Letting you guys know that I am indeed gonna get the new iPhone HD G4, whatever you want to call it, and you can expect an unboxing video and all that stuff. Uh, uh, stating about this weekly update video, the mic is gonna change into probably a low quality mic because uh, right now I'm using my iPhone microphone to actually record my voice so it might get worse until the new iPhone comes out and I can uh, freely record my voice in better high quality uh, second my channel I'm gonna be uh, doing a new channel design so I won't look boring from the way it is now uh, I'm almost hitting the 1000 subscriber mark so please like uh, inform your friends I don't know uh, the iPod touch uh, yes I am getting the new iPod touch fourth generation I'm pretty much going to use that as a backup for jailbreaks because you know there's like jailbreak uh, apps that could be a danger to your phone, iPhone, or any other iPod Touch. And I can per basically use that as a video game review because I can't really f afford a good camera to uh, record uh, video game uh, reviews. So I'm going a bit slow, but yeah, it's kind of late. But hopefully display recorder from Cydia can uh, help that out and that should be a lot easier for me. But until then guys, I will not have my iPhone for a month or two. And uh, But I'm still going to do these videos. I'm going to try my best to upload weekly updates and stuff like that. Alright, please like, subscribe, comment if you like. Tell me what you think about this new weekly update thing. Tell me what needs to be improved. Tell me what needs to like take out. So please guys, uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.